I'm Sarah Mazair and I drive the infamous Tech Pass Boy car. I am sponsored by Lubit and Fuel Depot who are the sole distributors of 93 octane fuel in the country. Fasten your seat belts and prepare for an awesome experience. Showcasing the best of Jamaica's automotive culture. Eight seven six streets, repping for Jamaican sickest rides. I'm here with my head mechanic, Andre Allen. As everyone might know, I used to drive the little pickup that used to go around Dover. Now, instead of moving up in classes, we're trying to focus on getting the car faster without moving up the engine. So with this, we looked at Dover and we realized that Dover has two straights and 13 corners. So we're focused on making it faster through the corners, better stopping, and more aerodynamic. So with the car, we looked at a lot of different things that we could change, and Andre will let you know on exactly what. Well, for starters, we think about shedding weight. So we started cutting up the car, start to replace the mild steel with chrome alley bars to make it stronger and meet FIA standard. Then we started with the design, how we can make the car more aerodynamic. The engine is a Suzuki Hayabusa Gen 2 1300 which is bore and stroke to 1600 for more power and reliability. Um, the drive shaft is a lightened drive shaft. The diff is a winter's back end. And we widen the track of the car and lengthen the wheelbase of the car to make it more stable. We also installed a dry sum system and try to move all the weight into the middle of the car and send the driver to the gym. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> My team, aren't they lovely? So with the improvements to the car, we also went with driving improvements. So we did over the entire dash, we went with Motec system, which is more user friendly in terms of for the driver, for me. And the dash, we did the, we did the panels, we yes. redid the seat position, we brought everything like Andre mentioned, we brought everything closer into the center of the car. We put the seat on the floor. And move the steering mm -hmm. over. And we just centered everything better. So we went with the Mercedes DTM car front, the front end for aerodynamic reasons. Then we started moving slowly to the back. We re realized that the best course of action, we took the top off of a CRX. We kept the original doors, which are off the Monte Carlo. We went with the back of a Supra. The wing of a McLaren. and the undercarriage went with a flat undercarriage that would mimic the same undercarriage of a Radical. So you have my favorite slogan of the car. So everyone knows my infamous little quote stuck on the back of my car, it says, Tech Pass Boy. So the original, like, where that originated was Uncle Dean, Dean Shaw. He came up to me and says, you have to put this on your car because it was his car that I was racing. So at the time, the truck, I had just gotten it and he was helping me. He was a head mechanic at the time, overseeing everything because it was his car, so he knew it best. And so he came up with it. I was like, okay, put it on the car. I was like, can't, just a harness with a sticker, it won't do much. But instead, it did poke a lot of egos here and there, and it did stir up a little bit of commotion. But then when I removed it, because we had changed the body and done over graphics, I left it out because it didn't fit. And a lot of people, a lot of girls that followed me said that they wanted it back and they loved it, and so decided so. Since we have the new body, had to put it back. Um, my mechanics look at it and everyone wants to figure out a name for the car. 
So we looked at the, all my mechanics were making fun of it, calling it the COVID car. But since it was made here in Jamaica by our local Jamaicans, I was thinking of calling it Alta Mini, since it's Alta Mini so cars. So the creation of the car, I was seeing it was fabricated here in Jamaica, the body. Everything was done here by Bob. So initially we were looking at doing just a rear end, just looking at the aerodynamics, just for time. And we just wanted something that was gonna work and make it faster. But then we, you know, ran into someone named Bob and he decided that he was gonna take it upon himself that he, did, he didn't like it. No, God, please, no, no, no! He was like, I'm not putting the rear end of this on the front of the, the truck body. That is ugly. Everything, this is ugly. What you're doing is not gonna work aesthetically. So he said, I need this much fiberglass and I'm gonna make something that looks good and works and drives fast. <laughs> yeah, boy. And we're like, okay, we gave in. We're like, here's a fiberglass, do you think? And he looked at magazines. He took a magazine with a Supra, with the back of the Supra. He's like, I like this, I'm going to do this. And he looked at it for like five seconds and he just made it. He looked at the Mercedes front. He did everything from scratch, everything out of his head. It was amazing process to watch. So in terms of the chassis, yes, it is a two-frame chassis. However, we have to remember that this particular two-frame chassis was made in the 80s. So whatever that was fast 40 years ago isn't particularly fast in 2020 and 2021. So all the upgrades and everything we made was made here in this factory by Janisha. She's our on-team welder. She's very good, very bright. And we have made all the improvements with what we have, what we have available. So with this car, I expect it to be performing a lot better than it was in the past years. So we took it to Vernon Field actually for the first testing. We did an aerodynamic testing where we stuck all these little strings with tape on the end all around the car. And we stuck GoPros around to watch like when we we're driving through to see how they were moving, if everything was straight and see how everything was doing around the car aerodynamically. Then the past weekend we went to Dovo. We went just for an initial shakedown. We did. Um, nothing drastic we weren't doing any lap times when we went i realized that the seat position wasn't exactly as comfortable as it was we had tested it here and it was comfortable but once i was strapped in we realized there were some faults that needed to be fixed we went around the track we we're making sure that nothing was falling off that the car could stop it could turn that everything was where it needed to be so we realized small little faults here and there and we're ready we're getting ready to fix everything and hopefully we'll be testing again by the end of the month With all that's going on, I have to be thankful to my sponsors, you know, Lubit, Techstar, Fuel Depot. I have to look at the past that uh, Fresh Pandas helped in the past, Herald Printers, We're looking at things that people that have come around and help us. For example, Mr. Moody, God rest his soul, that he used to come down for the past 18 months, used to come down and look at the car and look at sometimes the foolishness we'd be doing and call us out on it. He'd take the rear end of the car, he helped us assemble the diff, you know, he was always a big help. All the little things, you know, everything matters. So with time on our hands, because of COVID, we started looking in detail of the car and seeing what little things we could do to improve it. For example, my father picked up the phone and started calling Willwood and figured out how to improve the brakes very minimalistically. We looked at things like the, the wing, where when we're at the track and we want more downforce or we want better braking, instead of having to dismantle the entire rear end of the car to fix a small thing, we decided to add a compressor, which just slightly with a move of a switch, very inexpensive, moves the moves the wing forward and backward, which makes time and ease at the track much better. And we looked at things like the dry sum system, communications within inside the car. We also looked at the fire suppression system. We did a five point full FIA certified suppression system where you know it is kind of helpful to know that I won't be set on fire. <laughs> Thank you. 
So with COVID, the resumption of races is going to be a little difficult in terms of spectators. So we are looking for sponsors. So what we have done is realize that streaming is the way in which racing will go to be able to be profitable or to be able to even put on racing. We've installed 360 degree view cameras inside the car and outside so that when streaming, you can actually sit inside the car with me and watch the races. So we have the Motec system, the brake bias, we have power steering, we have gauges, we have able to turn on the gas pump and everything. We have gear levo, carbon fiber as well. We did blacked out the interior just to make it blend more, no reflectivity inside on the track when it's late in the evening. And we changed everything to make it more centered so it's straighter. We did, here are the fire extinguishers. We have one facing me, one facing the electrics on this side. We have all these um, systems facing the back, the fuel. Here are two uh, levers to be able to pull. One is here and one is up here. And we also added the wing. So we have here, we have a switch for the wing to be able to adjust it. It's not active aero, it's just off track. We can adjust it, so here. We can pretty much change the whole system if I want more downforce or less in certain parts of the track. We can figure out where is the best to average it out. Please let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions to what you think we should name the car. My direction was going out of many since made here in Jamaica and it's out of many one car. So let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. You can follow me on Sarah Mazair on my Instagram page. For any more updates, I'd like to give a big thank you to 876 Streets for following up and always being there to you know, follow up on the progress of the car. You can look forward to more content on the car and more from 876 Streets. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put it up a little, yeah. Nice. Yes, we added that. My Instagram is Sarah Missouri. You can follow me for more updates, even A7 Streets. <laughs> Stop it. Subscribe now to 876 Streets on YouTube and turn on your post notifications.